Well, welcome back to the channel, everybody. You're watching a Ritter Bit Will Do, and here we are once again. We are at MJ and Jake's house, and we've got some trees. You want to tell everybody what you guys are planting? These are this is a white pine, white jack pine. pine, and balsam fir. Oh, balsam fir. Okay. And we planted uh, paper birch earlier. Paper today. birch. Awesome. So they're turning a part of their yard into a, a kind of a tree farm. Is more or less sure. not really i guess you're not selling the trees you're just growing them to yeah, have yeah. some coverage right yeah. the birds will love it well i had to show off my jacket <laughs> here I, you guys see my brand new jacket well the last time i was out here <laughs> tilling a garden with my flail mower right <laughs> real don't tell your mom i bought a tiller she still hasn't quite figured that out well I tilled the garden and the next day you guys show up to my house with a gift bag with this brand new jacket because I had complimented you Jake. You complimented my coat. I, it was a very nice coat. I said, boy, that's a nice coat. What kind of coat is that? And it's a cool, right? K-U-H-L. Yeah. Sorry to spell it. So lo and behold, they show up to our place with a brand new coat for me. So what do you guys think? Looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's pretty cool. Yeah. It is pretty cool. It is very cool. Well, we are out here today, and uh, you guys are planting trees, so you've yeah. got plenty to do, and we've got to get that one in the ground here pretty soon, because it's that, starting yeah. to dry out. Yeah. Yeah. But I've got my, I got the front hole bucket, or the trenching bucket, or the stuffing bucket, or whatever you want to call it, and I brought the backhoe, and I'm going to get right. you on the backhoe, Jake. Oh, really? You're going to be running the backhoe pretty soon. So maybe you too. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to see which one is more effective right. for pulling stumps, and the stumps oh, okay. you have are about four or five inches or so, and some bigger and smaller. Okay. Um, but thanks for, thanks for letting me come back here and, and bring my toys to play in your yard. I appreciate that. Anytime. Yeah. And guess what else? Yesterday, um, you don't know this yet because maybe I didn't tell you, but yesterday I met one of your friends. She has an orchard and a whole lot of stuff for me to do. <laughs> yeah. So those are going to be future videos, so stay tuned for those. All right, let's get at it. <laughs> All right. As you saw there, did you see how stringy those roots were? They held on like steel cable. This is Siberian elm. It's an invasive species to this part of Minnesota. Probably every part of the world, I would imagine, Siberia. It belongs in Siberia. That's where it belongs. Not here. So it's invasive to Minnesota. But look at this. It's just the stringiest, longest root. I mean, you could, you could pull a truck out of a ditch with these roots. They're so strong and stringy and it's just ridiculous. It's like a, it's like a giant alien. spider web. It's, yeah, it's like an alien. That's what it looks like. It looks like an alien. It's just ridiculous. Oh, these these things need to go back to Siberia. Yes. Yes. <laughs> they do. They need to go oh somewhere. Oh my goodness. Siberia is good enough. Just the greasiest root, and oh, it's just gross. But you like trees. I I don't like this kind of trees. Look at this taproot, how deep it goes. It's crazy. Wow, they really, uh, they really are invasive. They're an invasive plant. I think that's the word. It is the word. <laughs>
as you saw, that didn't take very long at all. I'm able to move around and reposition myself with the uh, with the stump bucket, the trenching bucket, the whatever you want to call it, the, the poor man's backhoe, right? It's got a lot of different names. Artillion does call it the trenching bucket. You should check out their website, artillion.com. It is part of the, uh, the fork frame modular system, right? I can take this off. I can put forks on the same frame. I can put a grapple on the same frame. It's absolutely fantastic. What I really like about this bucket is the fact that it is shorter than most trenching buckets. As you can see, it's not very long, so I can get a ton of leverage with my bucket curl function. So I can get these teeth right into the stump, and it rips those roots out, and it just pulls that tap root right up. And uh, it, it, it's the perfect tool for this job right here. But what we're going to do now is we are going to try the backhoe. I don't know if the backhoe is going to be any more effective or not. As you know, a backhoe is not as cheap as a trenching bucket. So we're going to give it a try and maybe you'll be able to decide which one is going to work better for your needs. That took way longer with the backhoe, way longer. The, the stump was maybe an inch or two bigger than the other ones I was digging out, but as you can tell, the backhoe took a lot longer. I think I would have had a lot better success if I would have stuck with the, with the trenching bucket. My problem was the teeth on the backhoe, okay? The teeth on the backhoe that or the bucket that comes standard with your BX only has three teeth. One, two, and three. They're not all that sharp. They're really good for digging in the dirt, but they're not great for digging roots, okay? <laughs> These teeth right here, those teeth on the trenching bucket, on, on the artillion trenching bucket, are really good for ripping those roots out. This thing is nasty. Just a nasty stump. Look at this. Look at this tap root. How long it is. Crazy. These Siberian Siberian elm are terrible. They're just a terrible tree. Um, this this is a living tree. This those roots are living because that will eventually sprout back from the stump. And I'll show you a couple later that have already started to sprout back. But uh, they really need to be ripped out and, and taken care of. And, uh, it's just a 
not a fun process. Looks like they're they're making progress over there planting trees. Everybody wave. Hello. <laughs> you having fun, Brielle? Yeah. Yeah, planting some trees. Good. That's the last stump that I'm going to pull with the backhoe. We're going to stick with the trenching bucket for now on. I want to get Jake on the backhoe though. I want him to have a little fun. Huh? But so uh, we'll see what we can do. One more advantage that that trenching bucket has over the backhoe is the trenching bucket, with it on the tractor, I'm more mobile. I can move around, plus I can use the momentum of the tractor in four-wheel drive low and push those stumps over and dig into those roots and, and just dig and grind into those roots and get them out of there. With the backhoe, I'm stationary. I can't use the tractor's momentum to pull any stumps, right, or to break any roots. So I have to uh, strategically place the teeth of the backhoe, which aren't all that sharp for breaking roots, and I gotta just keep prying and prying and, and pulling and, and giving the backhoe every bit of power that it possibly has, and it, it just, as you saw, it falls short. The trenching bucket is definitely a better option for you. So, again, you guys, if you're looking for a way to get stumps out of your yard, and you think a backhoe is the best option, it's not. Get yourself a trenching bucket, or rent a mini excavator with some more power than a BX backhoe. So we got Jake on the backhoe here for the very first time ever, and he's just playing and learning the controls. I, I told him it's kind of like a video game, and, and he's getting the hang of it. So until next time, keep, keep on, on tractoring, and God bless. Yeah.